guys, welcome back to the channel Nate's Pink Bookshelf. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and today's video, as the title says, is going to be my September TBR. So, as you can tell from the title, I am doing quite a lot. I am partaking in six book clubs as well as three readathons, which are exciting but can be a bit much, especially with the new school year coming up and me having to homeschool my son. It's going to be a lot. But I'm I'm glad that I was able to fit all of these books into their perspective slots for the different readathons. So the first readathon I will be taking in, taking part in is going to be Becca's Bookopoliathon, and she did create a new board specifically for this readathon, and it is a month long readathon for the month of September, in which you roll the dice five times or more, however you choose, and you let the board pick your books. So if you have not seen Becca's announcement, just click the on the screen to go to her video, but I am now going to insert the clips of my rolls as well as the books. Okay guys, so here is the board. I'm going to be using the Sky Paw Patrol piece for my son. I have my chance cards and my community shelf. I have the extra ones over here. We'll put those to the side and um, my two die are here. So as I mentioned in the intro, I will be partaking in six book clubs as well as two other readathons outside of Becca's Bookoplathon. So I'm definitely gonna try to fit those books that I have to read into this. Um, I'm not even sure if I have review books to read, so we'll see how massive my uh, TBR for September will become. But let's dive right in with the first roll. First roll is a six. Six, that's dark cover. So let's go see what I have for dark cover. Okay, so roll number one, I got a six and I landed on dark cover. So for that, I am cheating a little bit. Um, this is dark, but it's not fully dark, but it's dark. So I'm going to go with this anyway. And I'm going to be using The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson, which is book three in the Mistborn series. I think it's a series, right? It's a two-part trilogy. So this is a third and final book in the Mistborn Era 1 trilogy. Um, and this is also the book pick for the Cosmere Long. Now, the Cosmere Long is actually going to be doing Warbreaker, but I have already read Warbreaker. So for the month of September, I'm going to finally get into this book because I'm a little bit behind. For August, I had to read The Wall of Ascension, which is going really great. So for September, I will be catching up and getting into this book here, The Hero of Ages, which is like I said, the third book in the Mistborn Era 1. It is adult fantasy and it's following Ben and Ellen and um, Kelsey's old crew. I don't know much about it because I still haven't finished the second book and I don't want to know much about it. I just know I'm enjoying this world. I'm enjoying the magic system and the characters and I'm excited to dive back into this and figure out what's going on with Ben and the crew. Okay, row number two. That is a eight. Yes. That is going to be LGBTQ plus rep. So let's go see what I have for that. So row number two was an eight and I landed on LGBTQ plus rep. And for that, I'm going to go with The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is also going to be the book club pick for the late night book club hosted by Joelle Elias. And I cannot remember the other person's name, but just click the eye on the screen to go to Joelle's video. And I don't know much about this. I know that it's a hyped up book. I know that BookTube really loves this book. And pretty much it's historical fiction, a tell-all from a previous Hollywood celeb and she's basically telling her story and her her seven husbands is pretty much all that I know and I'm excited to get into it and I love this cover so yeah roll number three double six just my luck <laughs> so that's 12 and I have to add a roll so let's go So that is going to be fire on cover and I know Becca said that that can be anything that has flames, fire, I think fire can be in a title, um, any elements of fire or even the colors which are yellow, orange and red. So let's go see what I have for that. Row number three I got a double, two sixes which was a 12 which landed me on fire on the cover and for that I remember Becca saying that it could either include fire elements, it could be the colors of fire so like red, orange or um, yellow and things like that so luckily this one worked I was actually going to use this for the first row but I realized it had fire on it and this is going to be Foundry Side by Robert Jackson Bennett this is adult fantasy and this is also going to be the book club pick for the busy bee book club you can click the eyes on the screen to go to that announcement I'm super super stoked for this now I own Robert Jackson's Bennett other series um I don't even know the first book is called the city of Sears. I own that trilogy and I have yet to read it um yeah 
but I'm excited to get into this and if you can see there is fire on the cover there's also orange and yellow on the cover um but yeah it has fire so I'm gonna go with this and I'm super super stoked for this book row number four we have a nine that is friend pick so let's see you know what I'm gonna actually have my sister pick a book so i'm gonna pick a few books out and then have my sister pick so let's see which one she picks okay so roll number four i got a nine which was friend pick and i decided instead of a friend i could just ask one of my brothers or sister and i was gonna get my sister to do it but she was still asleep so i did end up letting my brother pick and i have four books laid out so i will roll that clip now okay so i picked out four books for my sister to pick from um, Song of the Crimson Flower by Julie C. Dow, which is a YA fantasy. Prelude, The Kingdom of Beck, which is a YA fantasy. Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo, which is a YA fantasy. And Mermaid Moon by Susan Kogel. Um, I think this is YA fantasy or magical realism, somewhere along those lines. So um, these are the four options. Of course, fantasy, we love fantasy. So I'm going to have her pick between these books okay so change of plans i'm gonna have my brother pick a book so pick one of these four any four any one rather okay thank you okay so as you can see he went with six of crows by leigh bardugo this is really gonna be a reread for me i have read this already it is why a fantasy about a heist and i did read it before i read the ebook version um and totally loved it of course we love cast but uh i am excited to be rereading this because i have not finished the duology i have never completed reading crooked kingdoms like at all so i needed to obviously reread six of crows and because i have physical copy now i can annotate it and um really immerse myself in a story again so i'm excited for this Row number five, seven. Community shelf. Reread a favorite. <laughs> Lovely. So I have to reread a favorite. So let's go pick a favorite one of my books that I read. Row number five, I got a seven, which was community shelf. And I did have my card. The card was reread a favorite. So let me just show you guys community shelf. And on the back, it just says reread a favorite. For that, I'm, it was hard. It was hard to pick because this entire, these entire rows, okay, these shelves here are all my favorites. And I've read them all, loved them all. Um, they're all favorites. I could have went with, um, I wanted to go with a specific book, but it was too long and I didn't really want a big book. So I decided to go with this one, which is definitely a favorite for me. And I love this cover versus the other covers. Um, so it's The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. I read the ebook of it, loved it so much. So I'm excited to own a physical copy now to annotate as well as this gorgeous cover. The other covers were nice, but as a makeup lover, I love this um cover so much it's beautiful but yeah this is YA fantasy I have read this already so this will be another reread for me so yes we have this okay and the final row hopefully this is not a double it's not lovely let's put that back there but if you guys can see that is a six so let's go that is going to be foiled cover so those are my rows let's go see which book I pick and let's go follow up with the rest of the books that I have to read for my TBR. Okay, and because I wrote a double on row number three, I had to roll again, which was my sixth and final row. And for that, I got a six. And the one that I landed on was Foiled Cover. Um, so I'm going to go with this book, which works out because it works for two of the book clubs as well as one of the readathons. I'm going to be part of picking it. And that is A Song of Wraith and Ruin by Rosanna A. Brown. This is West African, I believe, YA fantasy. Um, and I heard so many great things about it. I really, really love this cover. This cover is gorgeous. She is gorgeous. That veil, that dress, just everything about this cover is gorgeous. But there is silver and gold foiling on here so you can really see the silver um the gold is hard but it's all throughout the book so i love that so much and um this is gonna go for two book clubs the the black hotties as well as the crusty book club are reading this book and then for the royal readathon that i will be doing hosted by aaron over at booked and busy she will also be making this the group book for that so it works out so now that we are done with the Becca's Bookopoly pick and with you guys knowing the books that I'm going to be reading for all of the book clubs, which 
thank god that it worked out to get into the bookopiathon um we're now gonna move on to the royal readathon like i said that is hosted by aaron over at booked and busy it's going to be from september 13th until the 20th and there are going to be five prompts i believe there are five prompts yes however the group book which is this book completes four of the prompts and normally i don't like to double up on books but because i have a lot of books to read for the month of the month of september and it's going to be a very difficult um beginning of the year school year for me as far as like teaching my son and trying to balance my work with his work i figured i'm just going to double up on prompts okay so this is going to fulfill the first four prompts which are long live the king read a book with a male protagonist this has a male protagonist it is dual pov the second prompt is may the best woman win women fighting for power obviously you have the female protagonist fighting for power <laughs> the third one is who run the world set in a queendom or matriarchal society this is a queendom the fourth one is bells will be ringing which is featuring a romance this features a romance and then the fifth one is named fit for a king and basically it has to have a royal word in the title so for that book i'm gonna go with the wolf queen by cersei renee murphy it's the hope of afri book number one now i did read this i started reading it and then i stopped reading it and then i read it again and then i stopped i have read from this author before and loved her books i read her what is it called orders of the seers book yeah orders of the seers which was like a sci-fi fantasy and it was so epic um i've seen nothing but great reviews about this book on um goodreads and i was enjoying it so i'm excited to pick this book back up like i said i was reading it previously and annotating but then i stopped for some reason i don't even know how far i got i don't think i got far in this book let's see i only got to page 34 in this so i'm really just gonna start from scratch and i'm super super excited but we have queen queen is a royal word so yes Okay, and then the last readathon I'm going to be doing is a Latin Exathon, um, and that's going to be hosted from September 15th to October 15th. And there are four prompts as well as a group book. So the group book is By Any Means Necessary by Candace Montgomery, and I will be reading this book. Um, it sounds really interesting. It is a YA contemporary um, with LGBTQ rep in it, and it sounds really good. So I'm going to be reading that. I will leave the Goodreads link down below for you guys to get more information on that. But um, the four prompts are Voices, which is read a book by a Black, Indigenous, Latinx author. For that, I'm going to go with The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I have read With a Fire on High and I loved it so much. Um, so I do have The Poet X as well as Clap When You Land, but I decided to go with The Poet X just because I've heard it's written in verse. I do like poetry. I used to do poetry a lot and um, I'm excited to dive into that book. The second prompt is Latin You Die and it is a book written by an intersectional Latinx author. The the third prompt is root read a translated book or a book featuring more than one language now for the second prompt i don't have a book for that right now i don't even know if i will read anything for that but for the third one i have two books i can go with for this i can go with lobizona by romana garber which the cover is here i was gonna get a physical copy of it i was like this close and buying it from barnes and nobles and then i put the book down but um i might go back to barnes and nobles and pick it up maybe but um this is an argentina based fantasy and it's really really good it's paranormal i was thoroughly enjoying it i didn't fully complete the story as i had an e-arc of it um but i was thoroughly enjoying it so i could go with that or i can go with um isabel ibanez's woven in moonlight which takes place in belovia it's belovian based fantasy um both of these books this one as well as the other one um lobizona have spanish language in it so um I think that's awesome and they will both work for that prompt but i have read this already as you can see but the sequel is coming out um in january i believe 2021 so i don't know if i want to reread this now or finish lobizona we'll see but one of those two books will be on this tbr the fourth and final prompt is heritage which is to read a book by an author from a non-spanish speaking latin american country or heritage and i believe for that they said you can do um authors from brazil or haiti and things like that but um again i'm not sure which book i'm gonna read but i do have three other books for this uh latinx readathon that i do want to read um and they're all three from the same author sylvia moreno garcia 
and um, I'm super super excited for them. So the first one is going to be Certain Dark Things by her and this is an urban fantasy that includes um, vampires if I'm not mistaken and then the next one I want to read is The Beautiful Ones which is her historical fantasy. I've heard pretty good things about both of those but I also have two more of her other books. So I was going to go with Mexi Mexican Gothic but that's actually going to be an October book club pick so I can't go with that one. So I'm going to go with this one which is gods of jade and shadow which i've heard nothing but lovely things about it's historical fantasy about the mayan death god i think it is right yeah the mayan god of death it's Me mexican folklore so we have that so i do have an afro latina um author elizabeth acevedo is dominican american um and then we have What's the other author? I was so I'm so lost. We have Romana Gar Garber, which is Argentina, or we have Isabel Avenez, who's Bolivian, and then we have Sylvia Moreno Garcia, who's Mexican American. So I have that covered. Okay, so I do have three more books I'm gonna be adding on to my TBR. Yes, this is a massive TBR, but it's okay. Um, so the first one is actually a book club pick, and it's going to be for the Simply We Read book club hosted by Kaylani. You can just click the I to go to her channel and her announcement. But it is a Mermaid Moon by Suzanne Coco. I think that's how you say it. Um, I believe this is fantasy, and if it's not fantasy, it's magical realism. But I'm 100 percent sure it's fantasy based on mermaids. Um, and obviously Mermaid Moon. But the reason why we are doing this is one because the cover is gorgeous this cover is everything um and then it comes with sprayed edges when you buy it which is gorgeous and then when you take off the dust jacket it's really pretty but um yeah it says blood calls to blood charm calls to charm it is the way of the world come close and tell us your dreams so um yeah excited for that okay guys so the last two books i'm going to include on my tbr is going to come from this cup this is basically a tbr jar prompt cup and i do own tbr jars with actual like book titles on them but i wanted to do something that had more challenges than anything and so i'm going to pick two out of this cup and whatever two come out i will add two additional books to my tbr and so we are going to go we have one here this one says author's name starts with the first letter of your name so that's what this is and my first name starts with an s um, my name is shanae but i go by shanae and so i'm going to look on my shelf for an author with s so the second prompt is this one Read a book with a heart on the cover. Read a book with a heart on the cover. So I'm going to look for my shelves for two books that fit these prompts and I'll be back. Okay, so for the prompt that says to read a book with an author name that starts with the first letter of your name, which is here, I went with um, Sarah J. Mass. My first letter starts with an S, Sarah J. Mass, S, and decided to go with The Assassin's Blade. I have read um, the Akasar trilogy, which <laughs> we love. Um, I have read Crescent City, which I enjoyed so much, and I've been wanting to pick up back on Throne of Glass because I only read up to Empire of Storms. Mind you, all the books got five stars or four and a half for me, but I just did not want to read Tower of Dawn because I'm not a fan of Kale, like, at all as a character. I can't stand him. So I figured, why not just reread it, and I'm going to start with the novella bind-up. This is a bind-up, I think, of five novellas. One, two, three, four, five, right? Yeah, five novellas, um, and I believe these take place prior to um her becoming the champion or whatever it was that she had to do for the king I honestly forgot everything about this entire series so um yeah Sarah J Mass S my name starts with an S there we go and the final book I have is going to be for the prompt of read a book with a heart on the cover now I somewhat cheated just a little bit because I really didn't want to look too hard for books that had a heart on a cover and I don't think any of the books that I haven't read had a heart on the cover so I'm gonna go with the song of the crimson flower by Julie C Dow and um this has a heart on the back all book of the month books have hearts on the back so um, I'm kind of cheating a little bit that's all right though um so we're gonna go with this book one because it's really small i need small books for this month and two because i did start reading this but then i put it down i think i was reading this around the time of the asian readathon um but then i stopped reading it for some odd reason don't remember why uh so yeah i want to get back into this and see what it's about i know that this is not it's following the same world as her other two books 
can't remember the title of that duology is on the screen because I really didn't, don't remember but it's not a part of that duology it just is set in the same kind of world um so yeah I'm excited to dive into this book so that's it that's that's a long tbr a large tbr not including the other books that i'm going to be reading for the month um i have about five other books that i'll be reading for the month <laughs> of august that are not uh going to be regular books they're going to be christian based books so like christian fantasies biblical fictions and things like that so i'll be reading those as well um but i haven't really picked out my tbr for that as of yet but i have quite a few books here looks to be about 20 if i'm including those books as well can i do it normally i would say yes but with homeschooling being the thing for september we shall see but i'm glad i got all of my books picked out and i'm glad it worked out where my readathon books can fit into the bookopoliathon as well as my book club books can fit into bookopoliathon so that's a plus but that is it for this video if you guys are partaking in the royal readathon or the Latin X a thon, or if you're partaking in Becca's Bookopoly a thon for the month of September, please let me know if you have any videos. Leave them linked down below. I would love to see your videos. And um, I think that's it for this video. I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Bye.